like every morning, it depends on the training. Sometimes can be at 8, sometimes can be at 8.30. I'm going to get up and then I will have a, you know, coffee and shower and so on to get ready for my morning session. Then I will drive myself to go to the training center. Yeah, I'm going to have a breakfast there, which is, you know, some eggs, toast and some fruit. You know, something not too heavy. So, and then, yeah, uh, right after that, straight away, you know, for training. So if my session in the morning, I will start like around 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is usually, you know, after 12 p.m. I'm gonna have lunch at the training center again and then go back to take a nap, short, short break. And then at 4 p.m. I'm gonna start again. And then after training at four, you know, four to six or before seven, I'm gonna finish. And then I'm gonna have a, a dinner at the training center again and then go back for rest. When I was like growing up, like, I always have uh, been a uh, super competitive. My father had an influence, you know, on my life and encouraged me as I was entering a different competition. As a young kid that uh, I never knew that, you know, I wanted to be an athlete, but being in many competitive sport led me to where I am today. When I was 18, I said, like, okay, that's it. After I won my first SEA Games back in 2013 in Myanmar. So I decided like, okay, this is it. No more other sport. You know, I built for this because, you know, I, I like to see it fly and I love to see like, you know, just technical and training. It's just fun for me. First that, you know, I get to more exposed and gains my experience by learning from, you know, from other athletes and coaches. Second, that I realized that mental strength is just important uh, as physical strength. I was signed uh, on a, an Under Armour ambassador and was exposed to Under Armour motto, the only way is true. That encouraged me, you know, to overcome different challenges so I become better and stronger uh, on the other side. And yeah, and then third, I could say that I'm proud that I get to, you know, represent my home country, especially when I compete, you know, international games and, you know, to bring my family's name, you know, to see my parents smile, you know, happy. And last one is like, uh, I started to focus more on myself and become more disciplined, you know, especially on days when I feel really fatigued and overwhelmed with exhaustion. Uh, this is where Under Armour motto is the only way it's true. It's also a great reminder to me to overcome the challenge I face. The preparation is like going uh, smoothly and I finished my last competition last time in Sweden. Of course, that we have uh, like our own target, me and my coach. So like my target is, you know, to achieve the greater distance. You know, I am, you know, to be in the final or throw over 60 meters on the boat. You know, ideally around 62 meters on the boat. Taking like uh, a day off uh, in a week to rest and recover is a crucial for all, you know, most of the professional set. And also making sure that I'm still doing my usually day-to-day -day activities. And most uh, importantly, being able to be around my family and friends help me, it's a blessing to me, you know. For me, uh, being able to physically, uh, physically take care of myself is important because in order to perform my best. So I go to physio treatments two to three times a week and ice bath or some, some of my training session, uh, I do also massage. 2014, the first time I met, you know, a Robert Harting. Yeah, that was the first time that I felt like, you know, overwhelmed for me. It's like, you know, like a little kid, you know, you know, so like, oh my God, <laughs> so like, what, what is this? Like, he was right in front of me. But, you know, he has like a great technique and, you know, win almost every major competition, you name it. He is like, you know, really extremely inspirational to me. Everything you do, you have to be in control or balance. I would say that something like if you are strong, but if you have no control over things, so it will like, you know, you know, put you down, it will like, you know, eat you down. Favorite uh, UA gear is the Project Rock collection. 
the UA gear sister collection are extremely comfortable and designed are very motivational as it has quotes you know to remind me that whatever I'm doing now is all about getting better and improving performance I am also inspired by the rock Dwayne Johnson which is UA training collection six uh, training in UA gears has definitely helped me to become more resilient and motivate me to train and work harder, as well as to be committed to goals I have set for myself. I would like to say you know, a huge thank you to all Malaysians who have supported me and believe in me, and I truly appreciate it. The support it's very important to me as I always want to make sure I am making all my fellow Malaysian proud. And being able to represent Malaysia is truly an honor for me.